Welcome back to this week's prayer session and uh, I'm very pleased to be able to lead us in prayer today. This first prayer was written by the Reverend Simon Hansford, moderator of Synod New South Wales and the ACT. It's a short little prayer but I thought it was quite beautiful. God of the wilderness, in the muteness of isolation, your spirit whispers a gentle presence. In the brokenness of separation, your embrace is hope and life. When all appears to be at risk, our community, our life, our future, you are present, bearing us to life again. You are before us, beside and behind us. We trust in you. All in Christ we pray. Amen. This second prayer was written by the Reverend Anne Perrin. It's called A Prayer for Dispersible, Dispersal. And um, Anne was a minister in this presbytery. And uh, she's moved on and she's now ministering in the Uniting Church over in Tasmania. So let us pray. Ever-living, ever-present God, you are with us. We come before you this day, knowing where we are to be dispersed and we have been dispersed. We've been sent out into your world to be your church in new and different ways. If we are resistant to this change, Lord, hear our prayer of confession and bless us with forgiveness, patience and resilience, for we are committed to care for each other as we care for ourselves. So help us to discover new ways to share while we live our lives committed to sharing the promises of the gospel. During this time of upheaval, we will remember those whose groups who meet in our buildings that are no longer available to them and the new ways they will need to be community. We remember planned baptisms and weddings and pray times for rejoicing will not be too far away. We remember those for who this time is one of uncertainty and challenge those who now live with fear and in isolation, and those for whom this time is one of anguish and death. Hold all those in need of your love at this time. Holy God, you encourage us, when doubtful, to draw closer to you. Allow us to recognise your Holy Spirit as our guide, comforter and companion. And so with the hope you instill in us, and when the time is right and the season of our church is over, we will return as your gathered community. With the joy of Easter Day, celebrating our resilience, knowing our communities are stronger than ever, to continue, you continue your work to help build a flourishing world wherever we find ourselves. Through Christ we pray. Amen. And I'll lead us a little further in prayer. Loving God, we pray for our world, for the people in different countries of the world, those that lack the resources that we have, those that where, where there's so much despair and suffering. We pray for the peoples, for aid agencies and health workers and educators and for government leaders. As the United States elections approach, we pray, Lord, not for winners, but the one who does win, the leaders of government, will lead with compassion, justice and equity. We pray for tensions between nations. Lord, we know that there's been more and more mistrust and there's been self-interest. We pray for our government leaders that they will govern for the good of all. We pray for medical researchers working on a vaccine for COVID-19. 
for those medical researchers who work in other areas, whether it's in cancer research or heart disease or a whole range of areas, Lord. We pray for them in their work. Loving God, I was reading stories of aged care workers and the hard work they've been doing just yesterday. And so we pray for aged care residents and aged care staff and all their families. Ask your blessing on them in these very challenging times. And we pray for hospital workers in the stresses that they face. Lord God, we give thanks for schools, that most of the students are now back at school. We pray for staff, for families, for carers, for students. Especially Year 12 students approaching their exams. We pray for your church, that you'll bless your church as it seeks to be a beacon of hope and light in its communities. And we remember, Lord, our families and our friends especially family members that we've not seen for a long time because of the restrictions. We ask your blessing on them. Lord, thank you for hearing our prayer. Through Christ we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me this week and I look forward to leading us in prayer again next week. May God bless you all. Amen. <laughs>